I don't claim an art form um, because I like to have creative play. So um, I dabble in anything that could um, stimulate my creativity. I'm from New Orleans and I, I'm born and raised and I lived there until Hurricane Katrina. And so just after the storm, I um, just seeing the devastation day after day, I thought that it compelled me to uh, capture it. Um, and I took a lot of photographs um, day after day and I realized the photographs wasn't going to do justice to, to show the mass of uh, loss and, and devastation. So I mounted, uh, I screwed a, a pin into the bottom of my video camera and stuck it into the window slot and just drove around and I thought if I can just push record on a 90 minute tape and just drive continuously without stopping that that could be the better example of the massive loss and so this it just kind of echoes that piece a lot just in motion and uh, you know the scenery is quite different but the idea that you know she's driving down the street with the slow pace to kind of allow the viewers to uh, examine what's going on and so I, I felt that I was doing the same thing um, in the neighborhood. It was the Lord Night Ward. And so I created a piece called On the Street. And it was just a, a drive through of one of the more devastated neighborhoods in New Orleans. I think it was 15 days or maybe 20 that I just, every morning on my way to work, instead of going to work, I went there and just walked all around. And yeah, it's just, um, and I, it introduced me to the idea of conceptual art. The piece on the street now is showing in New Orleans at uh, the Louisiana State Museum uh, in an ongoing show called Beyond Katrina, Beyond the Hurricanes. And so, you know, it's allowed me and other people to actually, you know, experience a little bit of what people actually went through. Um, it, there was no uh, people in the piece that I shot. And uh, this is different, um, which um, it'd be nice to roll these things together if I get opportunity to one day. I've had some visions of uh, some uh, thoughts of going back and following the same path that I rode uh, just to kind of see the change. I've created three pieces uh, centered around the Katrina devastation. The other one was called After Disaster which was again speaking about, you know, there's the disaster and then there's the uh, turmoil that people have to go through after. It's just to, you know, thinking about rebuilding. The first thought that I have, and I think this, this piece brought me there too, is to think about how children would envision a piece like this. Like what do they get out of it? And what do they get out of going through tragedies? The first image I came up with trying to think how they would think would be that maybe a, a spigot was in the clouds and someone opened up the spigot and water came out because that's the only way I think maybe a five-year-old could conceive such a you know such a thing and so with the after disaster piece I built a spigot out of uh, old wood and parts and out of it was spilling uh, photographs that I captured in the lower ninth ward uh, spilling out of the spigot as water onto the floor and then I had like this sort of chronological uh, path of me going back and helping my mom rebuild a house. I, I documented the whole thing. 